I bought the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette today and I could have waited for it to well, well hmm? I could have waited until tomorrow to use it but I just I just couldn't, let's be honest. Um so inspired by my good friend Charlotte, who is a fellow vegan and makeup lover, because let's be honest, I just I couldn't decide what I was gonna do. So here is a yellowy, purpley sunset eye dedicated to Charlotte for everyone to see. Um, if you do want to follow Charlotte on Instagram, she does work for Urban Decay, so she understands like how excited I am. And every selfie she takes is just like, yes. So if you want to follow her Instagram, it is Charlotte Amy XO. Go follow her, she's amazing and a little prick. Also, I feel like this might go up before my 2017 video because I'm too excited. So, uh, happy new year, but I'll explain more in the next one. Okay, bye. Okay, so obviously this is the eye look I will be showing you. And this eye is the one I'm gonna show you on. I feel like I look really weird with just one eye on right now, but it's okay. All I've done is primed and used the white shade out of the full spectrum palette, which is called Bump, and I've basically just used that as a like starter colour so that every everything blends out well. Now I am gonna cheat a little bit. I apologize in advance. Um I'm gonna use a bit of sellotape for a nice sharp edge. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, as you can see where the tape is, it's not going like in the corner. It's slightly underneath it. But just have a look, check, see if it looks even, and then we're good to go. So as there doesn't really seem to be a transition shade, in the palette, I'm just gonna go in with my Naked Basic palette as I normally do and use Naked 2. And I'm just gonna start with it in the outer corner. And then start bringing it up. And I'm using quite a lot of this because I feel like I need something that is more substantial, if you get my drift. And then I'm just gonna go in with faint and bring that further down and blend that out again. You just basically wanna build it up and not go like straight in there with the color, just because it makes everything a little bit easier for you once you're doing it. I didn't even know if that made sense, but made sense in my head. So now to go in with the absolute beauty that is this palette like oh my Jesus. Um, I'm just gonna go in with the medium purple colour which is called Sketch using the actual brush from the palette which I am really surprised at and I'm just gonna start in the outer corner and start building that colour up. Obviously with a big sort of fluffy brush it is sometimes kind of hard to build up colour, but do not fear. And when you think you're done blending, like just, just keep going for a little bit longer. All right, and then I'm just gonna go in with the purple that is slightly darker. You can see I'm gonna have a little bit of cleaning up to do there. Um, but it's called Delirious. I like that name. And just looking down into the mirror, I'm just going to place that on the outer corner heavily and then bring it through the crease. Because it's like I'm not sort of creating a cut crease, but I am. Like, you know, and obviously you want everything to be seamless and all that. So I'm just going to take the brush I was using before with a little bit of Naked 2 again. Just to make sure that it is all blended out well. So I'm just going to go in with a bit more of the brighter purple. Just to build that up. And make it more purple, obviously. How many times can I say purple? I'm just gonna spray my brush, a little flat one, make sure it's not like 
too wet. Um, and then go in with Calavera, which is basically just a yellow. Like, that's it. But I'm going to be more sort of precise with the placement of it. As I said before, as if it was a cut crease. Obviously, it isn't, but we can all pretend. And while I'm here, I'm just going to put a tot of that in the inner corner as well. And then with that same brush, I'm going to go in with C's, which is a red, and place that on the outer corner. And then over top of all of that, I'm going to go in with gold mine, which, as you can probably tell, is a gold. And then I'm going to go in with the other side of this brush, which is just a bit more precise. I'm going with a little bit of delirious again on the outer corner, just to make sure that it blends in seamlessly. And once I have blended that outer corner, that's when I'm just going to sort of go through and make sure that the edges aren't too harsh, but still as we want them. And I'm going to take a little bit of Minx, which is a dark blue, and use that just to sketch out where I'm going to be putting my eyeliner. Um, I'm just going to take C's once more but less of it and on a fluffy brush and I'm going to use that to make my transition shade more warm and more sort of similar to a sunset obviously so now that I'm happy with that I'm going to do some eyeliner like a cotton pad next to me and I don't. I'm gonna use my beauty blender and just wipe it. I feel like that line is way too harsh. <sighs> oh you're just gonna have to deal with it. So I'm gonna take a little mini brush and go in with sketch again which was just the brighter purple colour. And then with Delirious, which is just the darker purple, and focusing that more so on the outer half of my eye. And then taking Naked 2 to kind of blend it out a little bit. Now it's just time for mascara and lashes. Just using the Benefit Their Real like, Mascara, which I got a while back, and I'm just trying to use up. So, yeah. And I'm just going to use the Eyelore Texture Lashes in number 117. Okay, so this is the finished eye look. To be honest with you, I don't know how accurate it looks because I can't see very well without my glasses on. However, I would like to say that the eyeshadows in this palette all blend really nicely, all have fairly good pigmentation, and once again, I mean, Urban Decay, to be honest, never really failed to impress me. I've only had one thing I didn't like from them and that was a lip gloss that came in like a set ages ago and that's because when it came off it sort of went all like crumbly and weird. Um, 
but other than that they never really cease to amaze me I love this palette I will probably be using it every single day for like the next 20 years I'm probably creating different looks every time I am very excited to use it I hope that if you can get your hands on it like wait what I hope you are able to get your hands on it it is quite expensive but I did have a gift card hence why I got it otherwise I don't think I would have been able to but like it's just unreal regardless I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you in the next one au revoir bye